How many close calls have Grand Prairie's fire chief today taking action to better protect first responders at emergency and accident scenes on the roadways? CBS 11's J.D. Miles shows us the steps that they're now taking. It was a typical emergency call to help a stranded motorist on I-30 last month in Grand Prairie. Patrol car dash cams captured an out-of-control van hitting a police vehicle and nearly hitting an officer. It's the kind of danger Grand Prairie's fire chief says he worries about most. Number one, I will tell you what keeps me up at night and what worries the firefighters' families is the roadway. It's why the chief says Grand Prairie's fire department became the first in North Texas to purchase truck-mounted attenuators. They act as crash cushions. The nine-foot-long trailers are hooked onto the rear of fire engines to protect emergency crews when they are parked on roadways. And the most critical part of this is we have now created an energy impact for the motorist on the rare chance they do hit us. The $35,000 devices are designed to absorb the impact from vehicles around roadway accidents and crime scenes. It happened earlier this month in Irving when a firefighter was struck and seriously injured by a driver who authorities say was drunk and plowed into an accident scene. Chief Fight says the energy absorbing cushions also minimize the risk to the driver who hits them. Not only do I want our firefighters to go home to their family, I want the motorist who is either distracted under the influence or just had a bad accident who hits us, I want that motorist to be able to go home as well. The engines pulling the TMAs have also been outfitted with digital warning signs. Grand Prairie wanted the trailers ready to roll before any potential ice or snowstorms. The fire department here purchased two of these. Expect them to be out on the roads 24 7 when bad weather strikes North Texas. In Grand Prairie, JD Miles, CBS 11 News. JD